Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to be doing the book buying tag. So this is a tag that I watched on a channel called I Should Read That. So yeah, the video is called The Book Buying Tag, Confessing My Book Buying Habits. And uh, I just thought it was a really fun video. I really enjoyed it. And then I was like, oh, I want to do that tag as well. So I left a comment. I was like, hey, great video. Um, I think I'm going to do this tag if that's okay. I didn't actually wait for a reply. <laughs> Oopsie. And I'm kind of sitting here doing the tag but anyway it's, it, it'll be fine it's, it's probably all good hopefully and uh, so if you want to do this tag you are officially tagged as well by me who wasn't tagged but there we go it's all good so um there's how many questions we've got 13 questions all about you know book buying and um yeah let's let's do this okay so the first question is where do you buy your books from so waterstones love waterstones uh without a doubt my favorite bookshop absolutely love it um who else do i buy from uh ebay i buy books on ebay i get books from local charity shops and also when i'm in the supermarket like i'll go in for like milk cheese potatoes etc and come out with a few books as well I know. so there's that next question is do you ever pre-order books and if so do you do it in store or online um i don't think i've ever pre-ordered a book uh in the shop itself the only time I pre-order is if it's a book that I'm just like oh really excited for and I see it on the Waterstones website and I'm like oh my days that sounds amazing so I want to guarantee I get it I want to just pre-order it um so yeah I yeah I do um pre-order books and I get really excited when they turn up like a little bit too excited sometimes <laughs> and you know when I get really super excited when they turn up early uh, for example I had a pre-order the other day that I thought was going to turn up I don't know on a, on a Monday and it turned up like you know a week in advance and I was like oh this is good this is exciting um so yeah I just sit online I find the book on the pre-order section click pre-order and um yeah <laughs> and the story you know is that um next question on average how many books do you buy a month uh just one I kind of expected my other half to shout out no you don't um no, I do buy a lot of books, uh, you know, look, it's, 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 yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I do feel a bit guilty about buying books, but as I always say, uh, there's worse things that I could be spending my money on, okay, there's people that have got addictions to lots of naughty things, mm -hmm. all I'm addicted to is books, so, you know, um, but I do probably spend a little bit too much, I am naughty, naughty, um, but yeah, on average, I don't know, do you want me to be honest have i got to be honest in these things I probably have haven't i really it was pointless um i would say about 10 probably about 10 books a month maybe um maybe more <laughs> okay next question do you use your local library yes i love going to the library the library is awesome unfortunately due to world events which i'm not going to talk about we all know about and it's really sad and makes me you know upset and scared and paranoid anyway um the li libraries were like you know locked down everything was closed etc then they reopened again but we were told that you couldn't sit in the library but you could like browse books but only for 10 minutes and i was like well I, I definitely take longer than 10 minutes to select my books from the library you know i like looking at the backs and you know you know just kind of taking my own time uh, so i didn't go then now they've um opened again and i think you can get half an hour browsing time which you know is it's still not long enough I'd be in there three hours but it's definitely you know an improvement so um maybe in the next couple of weeks I'll actually be able to go into my lovely library and it's really sad that I don't think they let us um like people just chill and sit in there yet um because I do like miss that experience of sitting in the library and just reading in a little corner like it's just yeah Laura time but alas you know hopefully in time things will go back to normal um next question if so how many books can you borrow at a time i'm not 100 percent certain so don't quote me but i think it's like 12 15 something like that i've never took out that many books at a time like the most i took out i think is like five or six and that is the most normally it's just like two or three um that i found and um yeah i think it's about that amount I don't think I'd carry all those. I'd be like, <laughs> it'd be too heavy. Uh, next question is, um, what is your opinion on library books? What is my opinion on library books? They're great. I mean, you're getting them for free. You know, you're borrowing them. Um, 
the only negative there, there there is a couple of negatives i do worry with everything going on in the world and you know health and safety wise like who's been touching the book is you know that kind of thing that is my own kind of paranoia um, but also the only the kind of negative thing is that you get that kind of set time to read the book and you know look, i'm i'm quite a fast reader anyway right but like sometimes i do take a bit longer especially if it's a big old chunky book um and i always feel that kind of pressure on me like oh i've only got till this date to read it and you know all right most books you can renew so you can have them like another few weeks but some books if they're on like older or if they're like newer books you can't renew them so you know i kind of sit there i'm like oh, I just i feel this like pressure but overall like come on it's a library you're getting them for free that's a great thing um our library is, is massive like south end library is huge and there's loads of different sections obviously and um you know all the book kind of genres that i read from there's loads of them uh so yeah i i love the library and uh, also i have actually listened to quite a few audio books on the library app it's called borrow box um you just sign in with your little library card ticket number thing and um yeah i've been listening to a few audio books recently and they're completely free which is brilliant so yeah i love the library i love library books and uh, next question is how do you feel oh sorry <laughs> Sorry, how do you feel about charity shop secondhand books? So, come on, I love charity shops. You know, I, I literally go in charity shops. I have been since I was really young. Um, I love them. You know, they're like these like places where you can find hidden treasures, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I love going in charity shops looking for bits and pieces and clothing and stuff. But the best thing about charity shops for me is the book sections. Whenever I find that little corner, and there's always a corner where there's books, I will be. That's where you'll find me. Um, and yeah, just kind of looking through the shelves. And, you know, it's, sometimes I get this really, like, this is so embarrassing and sad, but I'll be honest. I get so, like, excited and happy. And I get this emotional feeling when I see a book that I love, that I've read, on the shelf. <laughs> Like, I'm like, oh, I love that. No one's there with me. I'm all on my own, like, just looking at, oh, I love that. I loved that. I, lo I don't know. I feel like a connection with it. Okay, that does sound weird. Um, And yeah, obviously, like, I, I find some books that I've, you know, been after and you get them at a really cheap price. You know, there are so many book bargains in charity shops, you know. Um, I mean, for example, I've just filmed a new book haul video. And this was a book that I showed in that. And by the way, it's called The Haunting of Alma Fielding. And yeah, this book was like you know, pound fifty. there's a sticker up there, and look at the condition, it looks in tip-top, you know, like new, if not new, condition, and yeah, you can find some like really good like hardbacks and paperbacks, new books, really good condition books for a, a cheap price, you know, and of course the other amazing thing about buying charity shop books is that all the money you pay for the book goes to charity which is a great thing all round so yeah i'm all for it like yeah you know some of the books are a little bit tatty you might get a book that's you know a little bit ripped on the corner or whatever but like so what like it gives it character it's all good and i love i love finding like random stuff in books um like i don't know a bus ticket or like a shopping list i love i love finding shopping lists because i just read through what someone's like got on their list because i'm nosy but yeah i i love charity shop secondhand books uh again next question do you keep your red and tbr pile together on the same shelf or not um so i've got a lot of books on my tbr like literally a lot of books um <laughs> and you know some people are like oh you should you've got you know too many books on your tbr and i'm like whatever talk to the hand um but no seriously <laughs> Like, I think it's a great thing having lots of books that I own that I haven't read yet because it's kind of like having my own personal bookshop or my own personal library. Like, you know, if I'm in the mood for a horror, I'll go to get one. Or if I want a romance or a thriller, you know. So I love having books of kind of there, of, of my choosing, but are all different and stuff. Um, So with my red books, I, I only keep certain books they have to be like for me really special like, i've really connected to the books and there's some books i've read over the years that i've like super super enjoyed gave them five stars on goodreads etc but i think never gonna read it again loved it but you know you know move on kind of thing um but there's some books that i really connect with the characters or just there's something um i keep all my series that i love like more instruments i've got all of those in a big like row on my bookcase downstairs um, and as I say, certain standalones that have really meant a lot to me, I've kept, but I kind of keep the red books, 
downstairs in the front room on the bookcase there and I keep them all in kind of the same I think there's like probably about three shelves of books that I've read and I keep um, and all the rest of my TBR books are on other bookcases all kind of sorted out into genres um, and yeah also in piles of books <laughs> there's, there's a lot of books um okay next question is do you plan to read all of the books that you own well yeah i'd like to say yes a hundred percent because you know what was the point of buying them but we are being honest in this video right that's all it, all it is all about honesty is the best policy and all that jazz so I'm probably not going to read all of the books that I own. I did do a good sort out recently where I, I did kind of unhaul books that I'm not going to read or, you know, change my reading habits, not into that kind of story anymore. Um, and I either sold them on eBay or, you know, give them to charity or friends, etc. I give one of my neighbours um, one of my books recently. But, you know, so I don't know, like, I've literally forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like... Oh, I had to look at the question again to remind myself. I think I need a coffee. Yeah, so those books that I own, um, I would love to say I'm going to read them all, but, you know, I'm probably not going to read all of them. Some of them were like, you know, cover buys, um, you know, books that have been recommended to me, and I've just kind of got them there, and I'm like, you know, so I don't know. I'd like to say yes, but probably not. But I would say the bulk of the books I own, like the most of them, I think I will read at some point. I'm, you know, very much a mood reader, so I have to be into kind of like that mood for a thriller or horror or romance kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I signed out like that. I was like, mm? um, All right, so next question is, um, what do you do with the books that you own? What? What do you do with books that you own, that you, oh, that you feel you'll never read again or uh, that you didn't enjoy? Okay. So you know for me I, I i don't like getting rid of books but i have to because you know i can't just keep all the books that i read you know um so yeah for me like, i i sell them on ebay i keep them in good condition when i read them and i put them on ebay you know any money i make back from the book obviously gives me more money to buy new books uh, so it's like a nice little circle going on there book circle uh, so i put them on ebay sell them or you know, I, I kind of uh, give them away to people I know that I well, I think would, would enjoy them. Um, as I said, I give my neighbour a book the other day because I know what kind of book she likes. And I, I kind of read it, wasn't going to read it again. I was like, oh, hey, you know, check this one out. I think you'll really like this. So, you know, just giving away to people or putting them on eBay, really. Next question is, have you ever donated books? Always. Yeah, as I say, I give to charity shops all the time or you know, as I say, donate to people that I know, um, friends, family, etc., neighbours. <laughs> um, but yeah, when it comes to charity shops and stuff, I literally, I mean, the other day I had this big old bag filled with books that I'd just give them because, you know, it's nice. Then they can sell them on and, you know, the circle continues. Um, next question is, have you ever been on a book buying ban? Yes, and it didn't work. Um, <laughs> I've been on a few book buying bans and I, like, I, I really do try, like I genuinely try um, to kind of stick to the rules. It just doesn't work. I'm I just, I'm really weak. I'm weak, you know, I see a book I want or, um, you know, I watch a lot of booktube videos, you know, and if, if someone I'm watching is talking about a book that I think, oh, that sounds really good. You know, eBay, Waterstones, yeah, I'm looking it up, I'm buying it. And before you know it, another one is added to my collection. Um, you know, or, oh, it's my laptop, sorry. Or like, yeah, you know, I'll just be in the shop, find a book and think, oh, that looks pretty nice. Ah, what's happening? I've gone off the video. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll buy that kind of thing. So uh, I, I'm, I'm naughty. I do try and stick to the book ban, um, but it doesn't work. I've lost the video I was on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to pause it. Hold on. Where are you? Go back. Here we go. I have one more question left. Um, so, yeah, I do try and do the ban but I, I'm easily led I'm afraid um okay last question before my laptop dies is do you feel that you buy too many books what a question to end on <laughs> um yes uh, yes no I do and I, I laugh about it and stuff but it's not good um <laughs> I'm saying it's not good whilst laughing but no, it's not good because like you know you've got to be sensible in life right but 
yeah I do I do but as I say I've just I've got no willpower like I, I just I love books and I get so excited about book and then I'll get excited about another book and I'm like oh that book's out and I'll buy that and it's like ah that sometimes I think it's a little bit overwhelming for me I sort of look around my books and I have two kind of emotions uh, when I look around all the books that I own part of me is like wow I'm so lucky I've got to got all these beautiful books you know if they've been new or second hand like I own all of these amazing books you know then I have another emotion which is like oh my god I've got so many books how the hell am I going to read all these I want to read this one but I should read that one and you know so it's kind of like this pressure um it's weird to explain but overall my feeling is that I'm happy that I've got lots of books <laughs> um but I do yeah I, I do buy, buy too many I know. um so I hope you've enjoyed the tag um as I say I'll put the uh link to this girl's channel she seems really sweet as I say I've watched a few of her videos um I, I do love a fellow bookworm so you know I will link um my video on her video comment if she replies I don't know some people reply to comments some people don't we don't know um but I'll be like hey I did the tag video so she might want to watch if you're watching hey <laughs> If you're not, it doesn't matter. Um, also, I'll put the questions to the tag um, down below in the description box if you do want to do it. Um, my laptop is so going to die at any second. Um, yeah, if you do want to do this tag, feel free. Um, you know, if you haven't got a channel where you make videos as such, maybe just comment your answers to me and I can read, you know, what your views and opinions are about your, your book buying habits. Um, so, yeah, there we go. That's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry I kind of sound a bit spaced out um i think it's just number one i haven't had a coffee for hours and number two it's really really hot and humid today and it's making me a bit like doolally because i'm i'm literally sweating it up i was gonna have a fan on over there um but it's so noisy and i didn't want to like put people off watching having this noisy like uh, fan going off um yeah <laughs> okay thank you for watching please go and check out my other channel minx laura123 asmr i'll put the link down below um i do asmr videos on that channel basically sleep sounds um stress relief anxiety relief kind of videos videos to calm you down and chill you out and make you sleep and give you tingle tingle tingles um so yeah go check out my other channel also i'm on social media it would be fantastic if you would come and follow me and add me and stuff um twitter is at minx laura one two three instagram is minx laura one two three and uh i know i said i hated it for years but now i'm obsessed with it tiktok is at minx laura one two three asmr um also i'm on goodreads if you want to come and follow me you can see the books i've read want to read that kind of thing what you know reviews and, and and ratings i've left books and stuff um so my link to my goodreads page is down below as well all right everyone thank you for watching do the tag like it's all good it's fun i love doing tag videos um so yeah you are officially tagged by the way i'm trying to think of some people that i like exclusively want to tag so i'm gonna have to say like my three favorite booktubers right so in no particular order all right because i don't want people getting all like you know emotional about this but um okay i tag officially even though i tag everyone um kit cats can read because i've been watching her for absolutely blooming years and i adore her and she's lovely and i love her videos she's awesome and i also tag pages of page who is once again lovely and awesome and i'm gonna do an impression of her now <laughs> i hope she doesn't mind hello my loves hello my loves that's the impression but honestly pages of page she's she's just freaking awesome um and then also books uh books and bargains <laughs> i just went blank then i was like yeah books and bargains another channel that i love she's awesome she's sweet she's fun um she loves books which is great so they are the three that i exclusively tag but i i tag anyone if you're a person that wants to do this tag do it it's all good you know no one's even officially tagged me i'm just going around tagging everyone and i'm like i ain't even been tagged myself but that's all good who cares right i'm a rebel um anyway happy reading take care of yourself see you soon peace love bye <laughs>